New York's motor exhibition, which they call an auto show out there, is full of interesting exhibits to attract the buying public. For the motor industry is booming again in the United States as it is over here. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration wants more money. This as it's become apparent they've been wasting all the billions they have already been handed. Just in time for summer, pull down the ragtop, spin with the newest version of a classic, and Alfa Romeo will reveal to the world the new reason to go Italian. All right, pedal to the metal. Only one person has the insight into how all these machines tick. She's the nationally syndicated expert on everything automotive and one of the few people who get the industry from design to differential. I think we even came up with that on ourselves, our own. The car coach, Lauren Fix, is in the driver's seat. Lauren, good to see you again from Italy, I believe, yes? Yes, I am in Milan, in Italy, and we are at a wonderful, wonderful event tonight. But I do want to address this NHTSA situation because this is certainly something to to uh, laugh at because I can't believe a company or a portion of the government wants more money and the fact that everything that this government has asked for in the last seven years is more money and the bottom line is they can't even seem to make NHTSA work. Wait a minute, you Instead can't believe that an American governmental agency wastes money and can't do their job? Well, they must have asked for a platinum toilet or something like that, but <laughs> all, all I can tell you is is that they're asking for more money, which means more tax dollars, and they've failed the U.S. driver. We have left in the hands of NHTSA them to come after recalls, problems with cars, and instead they let it all go. Lots of deaths, lots of injuries, and all they want is more money. Now, I say, you show us you can work with the budget you have first, then we'll talk. Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri said, and I quote, this isn't about resources, this is about blatant, incompetent mismanagement. Would you say maybe that she's putting it mildly? I think she's finally telling the truth, and I absolutely believe that everyone in that administration needs to straighten up and get some structure, because right now they're taking all of our tax dollars and they're not giving us anything in return, other than, oh, wait, we, we got tricked, or whatever their story of the day is. The fact is, is that NHTSA is not doing their job, and they've failed the U.S. driver, and we relied on them, and they took our money, and that's fraud. All right, we have to dig into this in a deeper segment, if you will, sometime down the road. However, with only about two minutes yes, left, i got to yes. get to two things here. First of all, on the American side, General Motors, the brand-new Chevrolet Camaro convertible. Uh, oh, my God, that's, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not, I'm not a Chevy guy, but, boy, I love this car. Yeah, it is. They did a nice job. Brand-new Camaro convertible was launched today, but even better, 105 years ago today, Alfa Romeo, which just had its birthday today, launched the first Alfa Romeo. And now okay, hold on a sec. Hold on one second, because I'm going to get to the Alfa, uh, but, but okay. I want you to talk about the Camaro here first. Okay. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, well, first the Camaro, <laughs> I just wanted to, you can use the key fob to put the top down. Other than that, you're looking at a regular Camaro with some new design and a much updated interior. So if you're looking at the Camaro, get online. I've got pictures on my website. There's also pictures I'm all over the place on General Motors' website. All right, it is brand new, looks cool, ragtop, yes. love it. Okay, now, about a minute we have left here. The yep. reason why you launched into it, and I know that you're in Italy right now, Alfa Romeo, the rebirth with a new sedan. They're trying to make Alphas sexy again. Oh, this is sexy. This is all about Italian design. They're saying, you know, there's a lot of great performance cars out there, but they're all pretty much similar. They don't have personality. They don't have style. They don't have class. They're not Italian. And now you can buy a four-door Italian car. It's coming next year. It'll be a 2016 with 510 horsepower. This is my car of the week. This is the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Now, they've used the name before, and they've brought it back. It's this beautiful car, freshly designed. They have a brand-new museum. So if you find yourself in Italy, any of your viewers... This is a place to come check out their gorgeous museum, but this car is here, along with the 4C and all the original race cars. It is just a fabulous car with a wonderful history, and we had all the executives here. We got to talk to them. We had uh, Andrea Botticelli here singing uh, an <laughs> opera, and it was just... It was a wonderful opportunity. I'm wearing a little black dress just for the God, occasion. you live such a tough life. You know that? It's awful. You get to go to Italy, hang around cars, Bocelli... And, and yeah. you better bring me one back. All right, now we got to drive I'll one sooner or later. Back a lanyard. How's yeah, that? <laughs> I'll take, yeah, oh boy, there you go. Just what you always get as a member of the media. Uh, don't forget, laurenfix.com is the place to go to get reviews, to find out what's happening with cars, to get all your advice as well. Lauren, travel safe coming home. We'll see you again real soon. Okay. More pictures on my website, too. I believe that as well. Now just bring the car home. All right, laurenfix.com. Check it out there. Uh, and if she's got to bring me back a car one of these days. Rock on, true believers, uh, believers. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, join me 9 o'clock Eastern time tonight on the hard line, and we'll see you tomorrow right here on Midpoint.